Hey guys, I'm just popping on today to talk about an update to my reading plan for the year, and that is that I want to make 2024 the year of Dostoevsky. For those of you who don't know, Fyodor Dostoevsky was a 19th century Russian author. He wrote a lot of novels, but as well he wrote short stories and essays. Many critics have said that Dostoevsky is one of the greatest writers to have ever lived, and I happen to agree with them. I've read many of his works. I've read The Idiot, the Brothers Karamazov, Notes from Underground, The Devil, um, White Knights, a short story, Crime and Punishment, probably his most famous work, and I've loved every single one of them. His works are deeply existential and psychological, and they just, they're dark. They really make you think about the state of humanity in this world and what that means and, and how we as people are to move forward and function in this complex and extremely broken universe. So my plan for this year then is to try to read every single one of Dostoevsky's major works. By major works, I mean I'm probably going to focus on his novels and potentially a few of his short stories and novellas. I haven't solidified my list yet, but I've already read Notes from Underground for January. I'll be sharing that in an upcoming video about what I read in January. I just love Dostoevsky because he so accurately and profoundly deals with the tension between modern, scientific, rational, agnostic man and modern, theistic, religious believer. And as a believer in Christianity, I often feel isolated in mainstream society due to my religious worldview. So this conversation is critical. Is Christianity true? Is Christ who he said he is? Um, is there ultimate meaning in life? If so, how do we react and respond and how do we live in this world and how do we deal with our own guilt and how do we deal with crime and how do we deal with the problem of evil? These are all things that Dostoevsky deals with in his novels. Dostoevsky is also pretty famous for character building. I think he writes incredible characters. I mean, unforgettable characters. The underground man who I've already met this year is just quite the guy. <laughs> to put it that way. Raskolnikov, Alyosha, Ivan Karamazov. They're just very real, somewhat archetypal sometimes, but at the same time very real and compelling characters. And most of these characters, they deal with this existential angst. They deal with darkness and profound suffering. The thing I admire most about Dostoevsky is that he is not afraid to dive into the deepest and most difficult problems of human life. He talks about the death of children, the problem of evil, self-destruction, criminal psychology, murder, and even though he was a Christian and he found his hope in Christ at the end of his days, as far as my biographical reading has led me to believe, and as far as the brothers Karamazov leads me to believe, still he wasn't afraid to to dabble in these things, even though many others and many critics would use these things as a way to question his faith as a way to try to break down his Christian faith. So yeah, I hope that's all been clear. Um, I've been rambling a little bit, but if you watched my video about intellectual New Year's resolutions, you know that I wanted to get more into biographies this year. One of my resolutions was also to reread more classics, so focusing on Dostoevsky this year is going to check two of those boxes off. I would love to read a full biography on him to really get to know him as the author of these works and understand his times. I'm going to reread all the Dostoevsky that I've read in the past and hopefully tackle some new books as well. Another part of the reason why I'm doing this is because I am interested in so many things at all times and I'm sure many people can relate to this. You're interested in so many things that you never really become an expert on everything and by the time you really get into studying something or reading about something, the next thing has popped up and you're on to the next rabbit trail. And it's good to be well-rounded and to know a little bit about many different things. And it's okay to satisfy your curiosity that way if that's the way your curiosity kind of manifests itself. But I want to train myself this year to really focus and zone in on one specific subject or author in this case. I think that is the only way to um, become an expert, to develop expertise, and to have any authority to speak on a subject. And I have no authority to speak on Fyodor Dostoevsky at this point. I mean, there might be people out there who are going to criticize me for mispronouncing his name wrong already. And so yeah, my knowledge of him as an author and my understanding of his major works is, is far from perfect and is not very deep at this point. 
but I want to get there. And that's why I'm choosing to spend a whole year focusing on Dostoevsky. And if this goes well, and it really works for me and I learn a lot and I feel competent in talking about Dostoevsky and his works at the end of this year, then this is a pattern that I might continue where next year I'm going to pick a new author that I'm interested in and do the same thing, dedicate an entire year to studying them and their works. So that's where I'm at guys. It's been a really crazy busy Christmas and New Year's but I'm back on YouTube and I hope to keep making videos and keep you updated on my reading and my writing. So if you're interested, stay tuned, like and subscribe. I really appreciate any support that you give me and I really appreciate many of the kind comments that I get from many of you. So thank you. Anyways, let me know what you think about this video and this idea and what your thoughts on Dostoevsky are in the comments below. Thanks guys.